Uh, hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, sensitivity analysis uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know or alternatively you can click the link in the description area just uh, uh, below this video you know and once you click on that link you know it will take you to the new page of my website you know where you can find the information required you know now i come to the topic what is sensitivity analysis you know you know the sensitivity analysis uh, which is also called as a susceptibility testing you know and its purpose is that it helps uh, your doctor to find the most effective uh, like antibiotic to kill an uh, infecting uh, a microorganism you know and uh, the infecting microorganisms are the organisms such as bacteria or maybe fungi you know uh, that invade your body and cause the infection you know and the sensitivity analysis is a test uh, that determines the sensitivity of the bacteria to an antibiotic you know and uh, uh, it also call, uh, determines the ability of the drug to kill the bacteria and uh, the results from the test can help your doctor to determine which drugs are likely to be most effective in treating that uh, specific infection you know and uh, the doctors use uh, this uh, like sensitivity testing to determine the right antibiotic treatment uh, for infection and uh, to monitor the changes in the bacterial resistance to the antibiotics you know and both are um, a key uh, to your care you know so they are important test you know now so the next thing is uh, uh, why it's done why it's important you know you know the many bacteria uh, they are resistant uh, to common antibiotics and this means that the drug cannot kill the bacteria so the sensitivity test or the sensitivity analysis is uh, a very useful uh, it's very useful you know it help help to quickly uh, to decide if the bacteria are resistant to certain drugs you know and the examples of the antibiotic resistant infections may include like uh, persistent sore throat you know or maybe uh, urinary tract infections you know and the unresponsive uh, case of pneumonia you know so in that case uh, this test is very important you know and the sensitivity analysis uh, uh, may be ordered if uh, your infection does not respond uh, to the treatment you know and uh, this can uh, help your doctor to see if the bacteria uh, that's causing that infection you know uh, has developed the resistance you know so your doctor can uh, uh, de then determine which drug will be more effective in the treatment of that infection you know so he can change the medicine you know now uh, the next thing is how uh, is this uh, analysis uh, performed you know you know the sensitivity analysis uh, starts with the bacterial sampling so what it means that your doctor will get the sample of uh, by swabbing the infected area you know and your doctor uh, can sample any area that has the infection you know and the samples may include like blood or it may include urine or uh, spit you know or sputum you know or uh, uh, inside the cervix you know or maybe a pus which is uh, uh, from the wound you know and so this way uh, he will send, send that swab to the lab for the analysis you know and your doctor will uh, uh, where it will be uh, spread on a special uh, like uh, growing surface you know uh, so the grown bacteria is known as uh, uh, like uh, the culture you know and the bacteria in the culture will grow and multiply you know and the bacteria will uh, form the colonies you know and uh, the large groups of the bacteria you know and that will uh, 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 each be exposed to different antibiotics you know so the colonies can be like uh, susceptible uh, resistant and are the like intermediate in response to the antibiotics you know now the susceptible means uh, they cannot grow if the drug is uh, present you know 
and this means that the antibiotic is effective uh, against those bacteria, you know. And the resistance means uh, that the bacteria can grow even if the drug is there, you know. And uh, this is a sign of uh, like uh, ineffective antibiotic, you know. And the intermediate means the higher dose of the antibiotic is needed to prevent the growth, you know. So there will be three results, susceptible, uh, resistant or maybe intermediate, you know. So in case of the susceptible, which means that they cannot grow if the drug is there, okay. Resistance, drug is there but they are growing and if the more drug is needed or more antibiotics needed to stop them growing, you know. So these are the three stages, you know. Now, next thing is what are the risk factors of the sensitivity analysis? You know, uh, the few risks are associated with uh, the test, you know, like uh, blood collection comes with the small risks, you know, or there will be a needle prick, you know, uh, maybe a little bit of pain and maybe bruising on the site of that uh, uh, from where the blood is drawn, you know. And you may feel like throbbing after the needle is withdrawn. So these are the minor uh, risk factors, you know. Uh, but the risk, uh, there are some r rare risk factors uh, like uh, lightheadedness or fainting, you know, or hematoma or bruising, you know, excessive bleeding, you know, if you have any bleeding disorder, you know. So these are the uh, risk factors. Uh, the next thing is about the interpretation of the results, you know. So as I said earlier, there will be three types of results. So once the bacteria cultures have been grown uh, and tested with the antibiotics, your doctor can analyze the results and the results can be, uh, uh, can help you determine the best antibiotic to treat your infection, you know. And uh, uh, the susceptible, uh, your doctor will usually choose an appropriate drug from the report uh, that was listed as uh, susceptible you know uh, meaning that uh, it can fight the bacteria and uh, the intermediate uh, you will be uh, like uh, you need to increase the dose you know and uh, to uh, uh, control the growth you know and if it's resistance which means that that antibiotic is not effective you know uh, it's not controlling the uh, stopping the growth you know and an antibiotic that uh, bacteria of enjoy or any other microorganisms have shown resistance to shouldn't be used uh, to treat uh, uh, that infection, you know. And uh, uh, your doctor will decide which drug is the best uh, if several antibiotics are shown to be effective in killing the microorganisms, you know, uh, causing the infection, you know. And you may be uh, prescribed a combination of antibiotics if the bacterium is resistant to all of uh, the drugs that are usually used and to treat that particular infection, you know. And this combination um, uh, of the drugs mean, I mean to, meant to work together to fight those bacteria, you know, of the organism, microorganisms, you know. And uh, the drug uh, in this category can be more expensive or may have to be given intravenously, you know. Uh, so you will also be likely to take the combination of the drugs, you know, for an extended period of time, you know. So. And some infections uh, may require further testing because uh, uh, it's known that the drugs normally used to treat uh, uh, the bacteria or the fungi cause an infection are not always effective, you know. So uh, it's possible uh, for the sample taken from the infection to have more uh, than one microorganism, you know. And the susceptibility testing uh, may be used to figure out which antibiotic or the combination of antibiotics uh, will be the most effective uh, in the treatment of those uh, different types of the bacteria consisting, uh, uh, which is causing infection, you know. Uh, you know, uh, it's possible for bacteria and uh, uh, other pathogens uh, to like uh, mutate, you know. So the antibiotics that work today may not be working well in six months time on those bacteria, you know, because they will be resistant by that time, you know. And the sensitivity tests are extremely important and they're extremely useful, you know, especially 
if you have an infection caused by the bacteria that has become resistant to some treatments. You know. So in that uh, situation, these tests are very important. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more information every day. Thank you and goodbye.